Outdoor fam. Good morning and welcome back to the channel. And if you're new to the channel, my name is James. It's good to meet you guys. So today, Brian and I are out in Destin, Florida, one of the most beautiful fishing destinations on the Gulf Coast. And we're gonna go after some sheep's head today. I spent a day out here last week targeting sheep's head. Um, we hooked up on six and unfortunately we also lost six because they are an incredibly difficult fish to catch. As soon as you hook into them, they wrap you around the structure and if you are not quick, they break you right off. So we're gonna give it another go today. Conditions out here are just flawless. It's gorgeous, the sun is bright, it's shining, it's warm. The water is crystal clear as it usually is here on the Emerald Coast. And that's gonna make it quite a bit easier for us today. So we're working our way out to the bridge. We just hit a couple dogs, didn't have any luck. So I think the first piling that we're gonna try is gonna be one that I hooked up on two fish. Last time I was here, it's about 15 feet deep and uh, it should be a pretty good starting point. So we're gonna head over there. I'll see you guys when we get there. So we are gonna start out fishing this piling here. We're in about 18 feet of water. It drops off really, really fast from the shoreline. Um, I hooked up on two sheep's head on this spot last time I was here. Um, so I know that it could potentially hold some more sheeps today. Um, for bait, we're gonna be using live shrimp and I've got that rigged up on a half ounce sheep's head jig right now. Um, set up with about five feet of 20 pound fluorocarbon. Hopefully that way um, we get a little bit more abrasion resistance if they wrap us around the structure. And we're gonna go ahead and start out by um, scraping some oysters off the piling and uh, dropping them into the water. If you guys are unfamiliar with sheep's head fishing, this is a really good way to bait those fish over here because they actually eat these oysters. either so we're gonna change it up a little bit I'm gonna go a little bit closer out to uh, the center boat channel where it's a little bit deeper um, check some more of these pilings see if anything's there and uh, if not we'll just hop right on over to where that boat channel is not too much luck on that one either so I think we're just gonna go ahead and uh, make our way out to that center boat channel which is out in front of Brian there um, they were just stacked on that thing last time I was here. And uh, with the current moving as slow as it is, it should be pretty easy to stay on that spot and fish those pilings without too much trouble. Okay, so this structure here, um, some of these go straight down, um, but the ones that are on this side actually go down at an angle and uh, hit the bottom probably about 10 feet out from where the wall is. So we're gonna drop kind of out here. And uh, by the time that gets to the bottom, it should theoretically be um, pretty close to these pilings, but you guys can see these things are just totally encrusted in oysters. I mean, this is such a good spot for sheep's head as well as black drum and any other species that feeds on, on things like that, so. Oh, just got hit. There we go. Let's see if we can drag this dude out of the structure here. That sucks. He came off. He, it was definitely a fish. It was probably a black drum. It was really, really heavy. And uh, it was just like being hooked into a log, but I could feel the head shakes. Um, and then obviously he, he drug us through some kind of snag. And uh, unfortunately it, it popped out. Hop on over to this side here. That current is starting to pick up a little bit. So that should help get those fish all riled up. Two hours later. Cool, man. Yeah, if they're wanting oysters, I'm gonna go find me some of those. I got a scraper, so. Do you see some? Yeah, you saw a Dude, it's so clear here, it's crazy. Yeah. So, all right, man, we're gonna go get some oysters. I appreciate the help, though, that's awesome. Cool. Thanks, man. Have a good one. All right. Okay, so we've been out here for several hours now and uh, we've gotten two bites and unfortunately we haven't landed anything. Um, it's been really, really slow, um, but we just ran into a guy that was just crushing them. He was just pulling them out all freaking morning. 
and uh, he called us over to talk to him because uh, you know we had been going around spot to spot kind of next to him for a while and uh, he told us to use oysters apparently today that is what they want and he's just been slaying them all day long um, obviously they are not wanting the live shrimp that we brought along with us so uh, we just went over to a piling it was just totally encrusted with oysters scraped a whole bunch off i've got them in the cooler behind me so we're gonna see if we can uh, learn how to shuck an oyster and uh, then we'll get all the inside parts of the oysters out and hopefully that will be enough to entice the sheep's head to take the bait I'm just putting snot on my lure. Give me your innards. Here, see if you can salvage that one. This one is for sure gonna catch a fish. There we go. Oh, oh, I'm hosed. I'm big hosed. Yeah, it's rubbing. I'm screwed. Yep. Uh. I knew that was coming. He went right under there. Well, it seems like now we're figuring it out, doesn't it? On. This is a big one, and he's gone. Nah, it was my leader knot. Son of a. He come off. Oh, damn. Yeah, he ran through the piling. That gosh darn no good sheep's head. <gasps> It was basically just turning into which one of us can catch a fish first so we can go the f home. Yeah, we've had so many close calls. <laughs> oh, 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 dude. Oh, no. Get in there. Get in there. Ah. Oh, oh, Woo dude, that is a pig of a sheep's head. Decent one. Steel pliers. I do have pliers and I also have this cool Rapala measuring board that my wife doesn't know I bought at the bait shop this morning. All right, tip of the tail. 22. 22 on the dot. You guys look in the mouth there, you can see all those teeth. And that's how uh, these fish are feeding on these oysters. They come up and they break those off or they use those to break open crabs or whatever else they're eating. But that is a crazy, crazy looking fish with that mouth on there 22 inch sheep's head for brian that is awesome and uh we're finally let's get you on the board finally off to a start i refuse to get broke off again oh no 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 i can't i know this rod's too small go between the legs go between the legs go between the legs come on don't go in there Oh. Come up here, come on. Don't you, don't you do me dirty. Don't you do me dirty. That's a big That's sheep. Cool looking fish over here, boy. Oh, my nuts hurt. <laughs> you know? Big one. Yes! Oh, finally. Barely hooked, dude. Look at that. No freaking way. <laughs> dude, there it is. Took all day. Yeah. Oysters. oysters. Yeah. Break some oysters off these pilings and pop them open. They're crushing them, dude. Dang, that's a big boy. Cool, man. All right, let's get out the illegally purchased bump board. <laughs> hey, hey, stop it. Twenty-one. Nice. Twenty-one inch sheep's head. Dude, that's a cool looking fish. They are. They're, they're great. They're, they're cool. Those are good teeth. All right, so we're gonna bleed this guy. I forget whose video I was watching. I think it was somebody here locally, but they said go in right behind the fin there. Oh, uh, I should have done that. Yeah, you should have. What are you doing? Obviously, I'm an expert. Alrighty guys, there is a look at that 21 inch sheep's head that we just pulled up. He is gonna come home with me as I found out last night. These guys are absolutely delicious fish. So I can't wait to cook this guy up for dinner once again. And yeah, let's get him in the cooler. 
and uh, drop some bait back down and see if we can scrounge up another sheep's head. Big one? That's a big fish, whatever that is. Oh no. I can't even see where he's at. Oh, that's a... No, there he goes. There he goes. That is a big black drum. I was like, this is not a sheep head. No. Sure, you don't care about your paddle? Yeah, you can use it like it's gonna break. It's totally fine. This is the only way I'm fishing for sheep's head from now on. <sighs> Instant, as soon as I drop. Oh my God. I don't like, I don't have any leverage, damn it. You got another drum here? Maybe. Yeah, that dude, definitely a drum. He's going out. You're good, you're good. I just don't have any leverage. I'm trying to put it in my crotch, but that's not the greatest feeling in the world, if you know what I mean. Oh, this is a big one. This might be that black drum, man. It's either a black drum or this is the biggest sheep's head I've ever seen. Oh, he's coming up. Black drum. Big black drum. Oh my god. That is a tanker, dude. Ooh. Get him. Ooh. Oh my god. Wow, this is a big fish. This is only the second black drum um, I've ever caught. Wow, this thing is heavy. Look at that black drum. That is a freaking big fish. That's the biggest black drum I have caught for sure. And it's actually only the second one that I've ever caught, but that thing is heavy. That was an amazing fight. That was awesome. Obviously this guy's going back. Um, from what I hear, they're not super great to eat when they get this big, but we are gonna measure them real quick because I am kind of curious, but that is awesome. Third time getting to use the Rapala bump board today. I knew this thing would come in handy. 34, which isn't even huge for these. That's crazy. It's pretty big though. I mean, it's pretty big, but I mean, you know, they get a lot bigger. So man, that is so freaking cool. the net we try it again nice fish Woo. Cool. Thanks. all right I am Totally covered in fish slime after that, but that was well worth it. Um, that was amazing. That was a big fish and uh, the fight was incredible. I can't believe that I was able to pull it out of the structure. And yeah, that was a lot of fun. So it's about 4.30, maybe a little bit after right now. So we've only got maybe 45 minutes to an hour left of good usable daylight. And uh, it's gonna start getting dark pretty quick. So it's that perfect evening golden hour um, that we all know is the best time for catching big fish. So we are gonna get some more bait down and hopefully we can pull up a couple more before the evening is over. I'm gonna have Woo. Little guy, but he'll eat. Why didn't you catch a bigger one? Oh, I tried. Unacceptable. I'm disappointed in you. Oh. No question. This is the size 16. that I normally used to get in. Nice. Ooh, that's a nice little sheep. Oh, ducked it. Oh. Yeah. Hey, we got you. Dude. Your original. Oh, no way. 
That's great. Dude, oh, this... he choked it. No, that, this is yours. I know. Wow, that's a big he one. He took that deep. That is a decent size. Dude, that, ex too. that explains why he broke me off. Look at that. Holy moly. Wow. That, it is, let's get that out. Let's confirm that that's you. Yeah, I think that's the original one when I was running a, uh, a weight up there. And it looks like he broke it off at the weight. Nose on. Dude, that's a 24 inch sheep's head. Guitar pick scales. That is insane. All right, guys, I think that is probably gonna do it for this outing. Um, these guys don't really bite after it gets dark and obviously the uh, sun has gone down and uh, we're both tired. We've got about an hour and a half drive home. So we're gonna head back to the launch and uh, start making that journey back to Pensacola. But I'm super stoked with how this outing went today. We came down to Destin, super unfamiliar with the spot, only fished here one time, and uh, we managed to make it work. So 21 inch sheep's head, new personal best. I am super pumped about this fish, and I'm sure that it's gonna taste absolutely delicious. Brian got a 24 inch sheep's head, and Brian, that's your PB, right? New PB for Brian as well. Um, also, new personal best, 34 inch black drum for myself. That was awesome. Um, that was definitely worth the trip in and of itself. Um, we also got that little 16 inch sheep's head as well as his 22 inch sheep's head. So, awesome day. Hope you guys had as much fun as we did coming down here to Destin and going sheep's head fishing and uh, also apparently going black drum fishing as well. So, as always guys, I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thank you guys for watching.